Namaste. Good morning. Welcome to this moment. Welcome to the daily trip. I was recently on silent retreat. A silent retreat, for those of you that don't know, is when you take a, a allotted amount of time and you don't speak for or have any any media or uh, there's nothing but you. And so I, in nature, and I went with a couple, a couple of folks came with me and we um, did the silent retreat together. And it was such a magical time for me and um, powerful moments of just spaciousness. I've been doing this for years and it's just such powerful spaciousness that begins to unfold in your mind. But there was this one moment when I was sitting in the hammock down by the river and it's just beautiful birds singing, the melodies so pure and true, and the frequency of their sounds just penetrating the mind and the heart. And all there is, no thoughts, no cares, no burdens, no concerns, just perfection. Now, this isn't just in that moment, but it's in every moment. You can experience this in every moment. Even with the sounds of horns and honking, crying children, you can experience the same thing. But as I was sitting there and I was looking up into the sky and clouds were passing by and one cloud slowed down and the other cloud trailing it, caught up with it and merged with this cloud and it was as if two clouds I was perceiving two and they became one and this is such an ecstatic uh, high experience to see the merging of two becoming one whether that's in a sexual encounter or clouds or the euphoric times of realization when you know that you have become one with God and with the whole universe and 2010 was one of the main experiences where that realization overtook me where this entire body and mind all that I believed I was was surrendered and everything had become one my body, the mind, everything had become one with God and with the entire universe. That I would see myself in the birds and the trees and the fields and the grass. And I would see the grass in me. God in me and me in God. And so as these clouds were merging, it reminded me just of this. It was so euphoric, so high. I went after I was watching this and I just slipped off into a trance of union and oneness and it reminded me of how so often we humanity and I used to see through this dual lens of you and me but in reality there is no you and me I am in you and you are in me this is divine consciousness wrapped in the flesh, word wrapped in flesh, energy suits, if you will. And we're experiencing individual, what feels like an individual consciousness, but in actuality, we really are one experiencing perceptional awareness and different forms, what appears to be different forms. But when we go all the way to the core of these forms, we find that we still are one, just like those clouds. They had always been one, taking on continually taking on different shapes. And but then out of nowhere, when they merge, when one caught up with the other and they merge, you couldn't tell where one had begun and one ended. 
So when they were trailing one another, I could say that cloud looks like this and this cloud looks like that. There's two clouds. But in that moment of merging, you just don't know anymore. And this is like awakening. When you awaken, that's a moment of merging with the entire cosmos, the entire world, the entire universe, the multiverse. And it's as if all that you had believed you are and thought you were is crumbling because you can't merge with something else and not crumble. Like when a man and a woman are experiencing oneness, part of that experience is to let go of what I believe that I am to really experience you. And in experiencing you, I'm experiencing part of me that I had never tasted of before. This is love, intimacy, ecstasy. And I want to encourage you now to maybe get lost in my trip, get lost in this trip of watching as things become one. Watch the clouds as it merges and become one. Watch things as they take on different shapes and forms. And more than all of that, realize right now that even though you felt separation in your mind from things, processes perceptional awareness, that that perceptual awareness could shift like this and enter from a place of dual, dual, duality, dualistic perception to a place of singular perception. This, my friends, is high. This is union. This is oneness. I love you so much. Check out the uh, next video. Check out the playlist of daily trip videos. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.